Good morning, everyone. I'm Nate Vanderplatt, your city administrator here in Lenox with a quick update on the Boynton Avenue project and the 2022 Street Improvements Project. With uh, Boynton Avenue, uh, phase one is uh, all the utilities are complete there, all the water, sewer, and most of the storm sewer is complete. Uh, a couple of small items that need to be done yet, a, a valve, a reducer. Uh, we've seen some material delays on those two items, so those, those are just going to have to wait a little while. Uh, and uh, the other item there is the, a box culvert, so that that crossing over the creek there between um, um, all the residential properties and Casey's and uh, Jerry's, uh, that we're putting a new box culvert in there. And uh, we're gonna have to wait for a little while for that as well. But overall, things are moving along really well there. Uh, on phase two, which is from uh, Poplar Street on the east to just past Juniper Street on the west, um, they've done removals. They're probably gonna wrap up the sanitary sewer lines in that uh, neighborhood. Uh, in the next week and then they'll move on to the new water mains. Uh, please keep in mind you can't get through uh, anywhere on there anymore. Uh, Boynton Avenue uh, from just east of Elm Street on the west all the way to Highway 17 is closed right now. Um, if you live in the area we've, we've figured out a way to get you access uh, but if you don't live there um, please just avoid the area uh, if you can. Uh, lots of construction traffic it's just really not very safe for people to be in there. Uh, for, for, for pedestrians or car traffic or the, the contractors, employees that we have working out there. Uh, we want to make sure we have as safe as an environment as possible over there. Um, overall, things are still moving along well on that project though. A uh, few weather delays here and there, a few material delays, uh, but overall we're pretty much still on schedule. With the 2022 street improvements project, so this is South Main Street over by the high school, so south of Highway 44 all the way past Oriel and then South Ash Street, uh, the, the dead end Ash Street uh, north of 5th. Uh, that's way ahead of schedule at this point. Um, Ash Street has already been paved, all the curb and gutter is done, all the concrete is done, and uh, the uh, dirt work and restoration is gonna happen in the next week or so. I still want people to use caution in that area as well. We've got some dirt piles in the area that need to be used for restoration. Uh, and there's still some construction traffic going through there. So just be careful as you're uh, going to and from uh, any, any activities or home uh, and you're using Fifth Avenue, just be careful, uh, take your time uh, and watch out for any hazards. Uh, South Main Street, uh, again, south of Highway 44 to past Oriel Avenue. Um, again, all, all the way ahead of schedule at this point. Um, you know, we weren't planning on wrapping up most of this project uh, until uh, much later this summer, um, August 15, I think is our completion date. Uh, and at this point, it looks like we'll, we'll be paving uh, South Main Street, the contractor will be paving South Main Street sometime in uh, early July. Uh, so that's great, great news. Uh, that means we should have everything opened up by the time uh, we even have to do picture day and school registration day down at the school. So uh, great, great progress happening there. Again, if you're not, if you don't have direct traffic or, or travel uh, that's necessary on South Main Street, just don't take it. It's just not very safe. There's other hazards in there. Uh, you can still get to um, the daycare, you can still get to the dental center. If you're going to the high school right now, where there's a detour to Oriel Avenue and we get you across that, uh, that crossing. So there's ways to get around there. Um, the less time you spend on that road, the better off you're gonna be uh, and the better off that project's gonna be. Uh, that's it for now, uh, for this week. Uh, we'll have another update next week. Uh, we do have our 4th of July festivities coming up. So there's a new uh, traffic announcement on Facebook. So if, if you're not on Facebook, call us here. Uh, at the office, we'll, we'll have some recommendations for you on how best to navigate those detours and closures that are in town this summer uh, for any family and friends that might be coming to town for the 4th of July festivities. Uh, thanks again for uh, your patience with these projects. We know these are, these are very inconvenient projects this year, uh, but we're really happy with how, uh, how folks have responded to them. Uh, just take it in stride. Uh, before you know it, it'll all be over and we'll have a brand new Boynton Avenue and it, it, it's going to look great. Uh, take care and have a great weekend.